In this video, we will look at all the important lakes in Western India. When I say West India, I'm talking about the states of Goa, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and the Union territories of Daman and Diu and Dadra Nagar Haveli. I'm going to pinpoint the locations on a map and give you some more interesting information about the lakes and the place so that it helps you in remembering the overall location. So let's get right into it. First, we'll begin with the state of Goa. The first one is Salaulim Reservoir. Now this reservoir is formed by the Salaulim Dam, which is located on the Salaulim River, which is again a tributary of Zuari River in Goa. Since it is an artificial man-made reservoir, even this falls under the category of a lake. And this lake is located in Sangam city, which is part of the South Goa district. The second one is Arambol Sweet Water Lake. This lake is located next to the Arambol beach. Plus the lake is just 200 meters away from the main sea. It is the only natural freshwater lake on the beach area of Goa, which is close to the Arabian Sea. The third one is Karambolim Lake. It is considered to be one of the largest lakes in Goa. It lies at a distance of only 12 kilometers to the east from the capital city of Panaji. Karambolim Lake is a man-made freshwater lake that was originally built to facilitate irrigation of the nearby fields. The lake is a bird watcher's paradise since a variety of migratory birds visit this lake every year. The fourth one is Kartorim Lake. The lake lies in the Kartorim town which is in the Margaon city of South Goa. The town of Kartorim is surrounded by hills and has numerous natural lakes. Kartorim Lake is a freshwater lake and is home to a variety of fish and birds. The fifth one is Mayam Lake. It's a big lake located in the Mayam village of the North Goa district. It is a freshwater lake. The lake is also a great place for migratory birds. It is surrounded by forests and lush green landscapes. The source of water for this lake is from the nearby hilly regions and rainfall. The sixth one is Sarzora Lake. The lake is located in Sarzora village of the South Goa district. This is an artificial freshwater lake and it is home to some of the most beautiful migratory birds. The lake is near to the hills of the Western Ghats and you can further imagine the source of water for this lake that comes from these hills. The seventh one is Batim Lake. The lake is located some 10 kilometers southeast from the capital city of Panaji. It is an artificial freshwater lake that is home to many migratory birds. The eighth one is Anjunam Lake. It is located near the North Goa and Maharashtra border. This is a huge lake surrounded by the hills of Western Ghats. Now this lake also has a dam which is called Anjunam Dam. The source of water for this lake is from the nearby hills of Western Ghats and that makes this lake a natural freshwater lake. So these were some of the important lakes in the state of Goa. Now we'll see the state of Maharashtra. The first one is Godevada Lake. It is situated on the northwest corner of Nagpur city. It is a man-made freshwater lake which was developed by the Water Works Department as the primary drinking water source for Nagpur's population. The lake is surrounded by a forest and it is home to many bird species. The second one is Lonar Lake. It is also known as Lonar Crater it is located at Lonar in Buldhana district of Maharashtra. It is a notified National Geo Heritage Monument. It was created by a meteor impact during the Ice Age. This lake sits on the Deccan Plateau which is a massive plain of volcanic basalt rock created by volcanic eruptions some 65 million years ago. The water of the lake contains various salts and sodas. During dry weather, when evaporation reduces the water level, large quantities of soda are collected. Two small streams named Purna and Penganga drain into the lake and a well of fresh water is located on the southern side close to the water's edge. The third one is Pashan Lake. It is an artificial lake near the suburb of Pashan, about 12 km from the city centre of Pune. The lake was built in the British era to accommodate the water requirement of the neighbourhood. The fourth one is Pawai Lake. It is an artificial lake situated in Mumbai in the Pawai Valley. On the east side of the lake is the campus of IIT Bombay. Once upon a time, the lake water was used to supply drinking water to the city of Mumbai. The fifth one is Rangkala Lake. It is located in the Kolhapur district of the state of Maharashtra. It is a man-made lake and is well known for its scenic beauty. It is also home to many migratory birds. The sixth one is Shivaji Sagar Lake. It is basically a reservoir in the Satara district of Maharashtra. The lake was formed after the Koina River when it was impounded by the Koina Dam. 
so this way it becomes an artificial man-made freshwater lake. It is also the largest artificial man-made freshwater lake in India. The seventh one is Vena Lake. It is a man-made lake located in Mahabaleshwar in between the Western Ghats. Hence you can imagine that the water streams from nearby hills as well as the rainwater feed this lake. So these are some of the important lakes in the state of Maharashtra. Now let's go to the next state of Gujarat. The first one is Nal Sarovar Lake. This lake is situated about 64 km to the west of Ahmedabad. It's a man-made wetland. It is rain-fed and serves as water catchment area in the monsoons. There's also a bird sanctuary at this lake where migratory birds arrive during the winter and spring season. It is the largest wetland bird sanctuary in Gujarat and also it is part of the Ramsar wetland sites. The second one is Thol Lake. It is an artificial lake near Thol village which lies on the northwestern side of Ahmedabad. It is a freshwater lake surrounded by marshes. Now this lake is a monsoon fed lake. There is also a bird sanctuary near to this lake which is called Thol Bird Sanctuary. It attracts a lot of migratory birds. The third one is Sursagar Lake. It is also known as Chand Talao. This lake is situated in the middle of the city of Vadodara. It is an artificial lake that serves as a scenic beauty to the city of Vadodara. The fourth one is Kankaria Lake. It is the second largest lake in Ahmedabad. It is located in the southeastern part of the city. It is an artificial lake. Today it is a place of public attraction. Many cultural, art and social activities are organized near this lake. Kankaria Carnival is a famous week-long festival held here in the last week of December. The fifth one is Narayan Sarovar Lake. It is one of the five holy lakes of Hinduism along with Mansarovar in Tibet, Pampa in Karnataka, Bhuvaneshwar in Odisha and Pushkar in Rajasthan. This lake is located on the mouth of Arabian Sea at the westernmost point of land in India, almost 100 km west of Bhuj. It is an artificial lake. Currently, there isn't much water in the lake. The sixth one is Hamirsar Lake. It is a man-made lake situated in the center of Bhuj. This lake is considered as an oasis. Its water level depends on the time of the year. It might be dry and largely deserted or full of water. The seventh one is Lakhotar Lake. It is an artificial man-made lake that lies in the city of Jamnagar. It is also known as the Ranmal Lake and surrounds Lakota Fort, which is situated in an island inside. Today, it is a scenic place of the Jamnagar city. So these are some of the important lakes of Gujarat. Let's go to the next state, Rajasthan. The first one is Thebar Lake. It is also known as Jasaman Lake. It is India's second largest artificial lake. It is located in Udaipur. It is a freshwater lake which is fed by the Gomati River, not the Gomti River of Uttar Pradesh. This is the Gomti River of Rajasthan. The lake is also home to a lot of crocodiles and migratory birds. The second one is Kailana Lake. It is an artificial freshwater lake located 8 km west of Jodhpur. It receives its water from a canal, which is further connected to the Indira Gandhi Canal. Various migratory birds such as Siberian cranes are seen here in the winter season. The third one is Nakki Lake. This lake is situated in the Indian hill station of Mount Abu in Aravali range. It is an artificial lake which is situated at a height of 11,000 meters above sea level. The ashes of Mahatma Gandhi was immersed in this lake after his death. It's a popular tourist activity place and surrounded by lush greenery and great view of mountains. The fourth one is Pachpadara Lake. It is a natural saltwater lake in Barmer district of Rajasthan. Since it is a saltwater lake, the sodium chloride content in this lake is at 98%. The fifth one is Pushkar Lake. It is an artificial lake. It is located in the town of Pushkar, which is in Ajmer district of Rajasthan. Now Pushkar Lake is a sacred lake of the Hindus. Every year, Pilgrims take a sacred bath. This lake is very close to the Aravali Hills. The sixth one is Rajsaman Lake. Now this lake is located to the north of Udaipur and west of Bhilwada. It is an artificial lake which was built across the rivers Gomati, Kelva and Tali. It is also very near to the Banas River. The seventh one is Sambar Lake. It is India's largest inland salt lake which is located 80 km southwest of the city of Jaipur. 
The lake is very shallow and is actually a saline wetland. It is also part of the Ramsar wetland sites. The water is fed to the lake from the river Menda and Rupangarh. Sambar Lake produces 2 lakh tons of salt every year, which is around 9% of India's salt production. It is also the source of most of Rajasthan's salt production. The eighth one is Mansagar Lake. It is an artificial freshwater lake situated in Jaipur. It is named after Raja Man Singh. The Jal Mahal is situated in the middle of this lake. This lake is enclosed by the Aravalli Hills in the north, west and eastern side. This lake is usually fed by rainwater and small streams that drain from the nearby hills. The ninth one is Fateh Sagar Lake. It is situated in the city of northwest of Udaipur. It is an artificial lake. The tenth one is Pichola Lake. It is located very nearby to the south of Fateh Sagar Lake. Even this is an artificial lake. It is fed by the Ahar River, which is a subtributary of River Banas. The eleventh one is Uday Sagar Lake. It is one of the prominent lakes of Udaipur, and it is located around thirteen kilometer to the east of Udaipur. It is an artificial lake which is fed by Ahar River, which is a subtributary of River Banas. So these are some of the important lakes in the state of Rajasthan. And now we are going to look at the lakes of the two union territories. So Daman and Diu is a very small union territory. Daman and Diu are two different places. Daman is here and Diu is here. There is also an airport in Diu. The river Daman Ganga passes through the coastal town of Daman and drains into the Arabian Sea. Now if we look at the town of Diu, Diu is an island to the state of Gujarat. which was earlier a portuguese colony there is also a small airport it also has few beaches but there isn't any lake so together daman and diu has no lake and the second union territory is dadra and nagar haveli the union territory consists of two sections dadra and nagar haveli they are landlocked between gujarat to the north and maharashtra to the south the river daman ganga passes through the union territory and it is held by the madhuban dam If there is a dam there will be an artificial man-made reservoir and it is called Madhuban Reservoir since it lies right on the border of Gujarat and Nagar Haveli the water is shared by both the state and the union territory that means there is only one artificial lake in the town of Nagar Haveli so overall these were the important lakes of west india i hope you found this video informative let me know your thoughts in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one